Hi everyone, it's Mrs. V again, and today I'm going to read another book, and this book is called Blackout. I have never read this book before, and um, we're kind of taking advantage of our county library. Right now, our county library is doing something called curbside pickup, and you can't go into the library and pick out your books, but you can tell them what kind of books you want, and they will bring them to your car for you, and they'll put them either on the hood of your car or in your trunk for you, which is kind of nice. And um, in all honesty, this is one book I probably wouldn't have picked up, but I am really excited that they um, gave this to us. So yeah. All right, Mia, and you've never read this book either, right? So she's going to read this book for the first time with me today. So uh, this book is titled Blackout, and it's written by John Rocco. It is published by Disney and Hyperion Books. So, and it was written in, the copyright date is 2011. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. Blackout by John Rocco. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. You could see the dumpster truck going rrrr, <laughs> beep beep. And then you see people here. And then she said, tap, 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 people cooking. Inside, everyone was busy. And here you see the older teenage sister saying, get out. <laughs> and what is the boy wanting to do, Mia? He wants to play a game, huh? Mm -hmm. So here he goes. He's taking his game down. Sorry. Much too busy. And there he goes up the stairs. And then the lights went out all of them. Mom? Nothing worked at all. The city was dark and quiet, and it was still. That'd be scary. Kind of, huh? We huddled around flashlights and candles. So you can see their shadow puppet. Look at the cat. Meow! Until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside. Can we go? So we went up and up and up to the rooftop and found the lights. What kind? It looks like Van Gogh, huh? Mm -hmm. But what kind of lights did he find? Stars. Yeah. And people. It was a block party in the sky. We waved to everyone and heard other sounds below. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on. A party was going on there too. So you could see the firefighter turned on the fire hydrant for the kids to get wet. <laughs> and then look, ice cream free. Yippee! La la la. <laughs> Why do you think they're giving out free ice cream? I don't know. Well, if there's no electricity, what's going to happen? Well, if there's no electricity, what happens to your ice cream? It melts. It melts. Oh. So if the electricity is off for a long time and there's a blackout, what are you going to do with a lot of ice cream? Right? So, yeah. And no one was busy at all. So look at the picture of the family. When the lights came back on, everything went back to normal. So you could see uh, the sister's on her phone, mom's there, and dad's working on the clock, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, click. But not everyone likes normal. 
I gotta go. Good idea, buddy. So what did he get to do? He got to play, play a game he with got, his family. Yeah. The end. That was a pretty short book, but like a really sweet book. It was a short book, and it was a sweet book, and I like that it focused a lot on the illustrations. This one, you have to be looking at the illustrations to understand the message in the book. And um, what do you think the message of the book is? Probably, like, not to, like, ignore people. Probably not to ignore people. That's a little lesson. But, I mean, think about what's happening now with COVID-19. Uh, we have a lot of people doing things that they wouldn't normally do, right? A lot of us have to stay in the house uh, just to be extra safe. And what's, a lot of kids aren't in school anymore, right? I know, it's sad. But what's kind of nice is that it's making people do things at home that they wouldn't normally do. For example, spending more time with your family at home, right? Okay, and also going on more walks. Because since there's nothing else to do, you can get up and go for a walk in the middle of the day, right? Look at the scenery, look at the sunset. Look at the sunset, look at the scenery and those types of things. So I think it's safe to say that um, this book is kind of about doing something different and not being in the same routine. Like sometimes you have to change it up. So what have you liked doing this week since we've been home all week? Playing family game nights. Gamp family game nights? Is that something you would want to continue even after COVID-19 goes away? Yeah. Yeah. So kind of like what happened here, right? The boy was trying to play games with people in his family, but they were too busy. But then the lights went out. The teenager's phone went out. So they had no choice. They had to play together. And they realized that they liked it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Good book. Um, it's a Caldecott winner in 2012. So that's it. So... Until next time, bye.